New York Islanders hosting the Pittsburgh Penguins, and the Penguins are minus 130 on the money line. The Islanders are plus 110. The over-under is 5.5 goals. The Penguins laying a goal and a half are plus 200. The Islanders getting a goal and a half are minus 240. Now, the Penguins are on a one-game winning streak. They are 3-7 and seven in their past 10 games. And in those games where they were a favorite and had to win the game by two, minus a goal and a half, they're 1-6. and six. And you can see the scores of their last five games beneath me, and pretty much every team that they've played has been a playoff team, and you can see how they've been doing. Now, the Islanders are on a one-game losing streak. They are 6-4 and four in their past 10 games. And in those games where they were an underdog and could not lose the game by two, they are 3-3. Three and three. Head-to-head, these teams are 5-5 five and five against each other in their past 10 the Penguins are on a one-game winning streak. Two out of the past three games have been decided by one goal. The under five and a half is two and one in their past three. The favorite is six and four. The one game that they played, the Penguins won the game one nothing. I'm going to take the Penguins with the money line. The Islanders getting the goal and a half and the under five and a half. We'll see if I'm right. We'll see if I'm wrong. I imagine this is going to be. It should be a low-scoring game, but you could see how the Penguins have been doing. So who really knows?